Hey, what's up everyone? Jason Turley here, back with a, another video. Forgive me for not having the camera on. It is pretty late where I'm at right now, right? It's midnight. I was doing some late night studying and I was using Vim and I saw this really neat trick and I just wanted to showcase it and document it for you guys in case you didn't know about it either. So in Vim, you can obviously open up different files and source code and edit them, but you can also open up a directory or a zip file or an archive in Vim. So if I open up my YouTube directory that I have is just YT, we see all these other subdirectories as well as some quick help up here. So you can scroll and navigate with either the arrow keys or the Vim keys J and K, or you can just use your mouse and click on the directory you want. I'm going to go into the try hack me folder. This is where I just keep some of my try hack me notes as I'm making these videos. Let's go into Pickle Rick because that was one of the last track me videos I released. And we see here the three files. They're sorted alphabetically by name. We see that here. You can hit the S hotkey to sort by some other type of filter like file access time or the size of the file or the extension. So M, P, and S are the first letter of the extensions. So it's sorted that way. But I like to just keep it sorted by name. It's simple for me now for opening the file all you have to do is either click on it with your mouse or put your cursor over it and hit enter so let's open up the readme file we see this here okay that's cool we can edit it we can do regular vim stuff and if we want to go back we're not going to do colon q because that's going to quit all the way out back to this bash shell but if we're still poking around, maybe we're a couple folders deep and we want to just go up one. We want to go back to where we were currently. You can do B for buffer and then pound to go back to your previous saved buffer or the previous window. Let's look at another directory. Let's go to startup, see what's in here. Let's say I want to open up important.jpg. That's not going to go very well because this is an image file. We see the header here, PNG. That's not something you probably open up in Vim. So besides just opening up in Vim, let's say you want to use a GUI text editor, you can hit X, which is the hotkey for special. So I'm doing that on this gobuster.txt and we see that it pops it open in my GUI text editor. In this case, it's mousepad. It might be gedit on your system or something different. And that's cool. You can edit it, you can play around, you can do whatever. Let's exit out of that. Yeah, don't save. So that's really it. Just a quick short video on Vim. It is my favorite text editor. It is very feature rich. You can look at the help menu for this context. And as you can see, there's just a plethora of different commands and hotkeys and whatnot. Perhaps we'll dive more into that in a later video. But as for now, that's really all I had. That's all I wanted to showcase for you guys. Let's see, that wasn't too bad. I knocked out that video in about four minutes. So. Let me know your favorite Vim tips and tricks in the comments down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Links to my social media and Patreon, all that stuff is in the description box down below. As always, take it easy and see you guys in the next video.